In previous videos, we saw that the cell potential for an electrochemical cell is based on the potential difference between the two half cells. Each electrode in a cell has its own standard electrode potential, which is defined relative to a standard hydrogen electrode with a standard electrode potential of 0, 0.00 volts. In this figure, we have a ranking of the reduction potentials of various half reactions. Half reactions with a greater tendency to undergo reduction will have a more positive standard reduction potential, while half reactions with a lesser tendency to undergo reduction will have a more negative standard reduction potential. Reactants in the half reactions are stronger oxidizing agents as the reduction potentials increase. The products in the half reactions are stronger reducing agents as the reduction potentials decrease. Finally, since voltaic cells involve spontaneous reactions, we can identify which of the half reactions will be the cathode because the more positive reduction potential will serve as a cathode since that reaction has a greater tendency to undergo reduction. Now that we know about standard electrode potentials, we can use these to calculate the standard cell potential for any given electrochemical cell. These standard cell potentials are calculated by taking the standard reduction potential for the cathode and subtracting from it the standard reduction potential for the anode. We designate this with the equation the standard cell potential is equal to the standard reduction potential for the cathode minus the standard reduction potential for the anode. Let's look at a few examples. In this first example, we have the familiar zinc, zinc 2 plus, copper 2 plus, copper electrochemical cell. Since we recognize from our cell notation that the anode or the oxidation half reaction is on the left and the cathode or reduction half reaction is on the right, we know that the copper 2 plus copper half cell is the cathode. From the table of standard electrode potentials, we see that copper 2 plus copper half reaction has an electrode potential of plus 0.34 volts. The zinc zinc 2 plus half reaction, when we look at the table of standard electrode potentials, has an electrode potential or a reduction potential of minus 0.76 volts. We plug these values into the equation to calculate the standard cell potential. So we have 0.34 volts for the copper 2 plus copper half reactions minus a negative 0.76 volts for the oxidation or the anode compartment. This gives us a standard cell potential for the zinc, zinc 2 plus, copper 2 plus, copper voltaic cell of plus 1.10 volts. We can do the same process for the example with the nickel, nickel 2 plus, copper 2 plus, copper voltaic cell. In this case, the copper 2 plus copper is still the cathode and it has the same standard reduction potential of 0.34 volts. The nickel, nickel 2 plus half reaction is therefore the anode and when we look on the table of reduction potentials, we find it has a value of negative 0.23 volts. When we plug these into the standard cell potential equation, we find that the standard cell potential for this voltaic cell is plus 0.57 volts. After watching this video, you should be able to use a table of standard reduction potentials to identify the cathode in a voltaic cell. You should be able to use a table of standard reduction potentials to identify the stronger oxidizing agents or stronger reducing agents. Finally, you should be able to use standard reduction potentials to calculate the standard cell potential for a given electrochemical cell.